In this video, we're going to look at a new feature in Photoshop. It's called Object Finder. This feature was added to the already powerful Object Selection tool. So if you've ever used the Object Selection tool, you know it's pretty powerful. It's up here, your toolbar. And all you need to do is either select if you wanted to use a rectangle or the lasso tool and just highlight around an object, release, and it would select that object for you. But now the new feature is up here on the top. It's called Object Finder, and it is enabled by default. So I'm going to enable it right now. So if I just open up this image right now, Object Finder would be checked, and you would see this wheel right here, these arrows turn. So Photoshop is analyzing the image, and it's trying to find all the objects in this image. So now if you just hover over objects in your image, in this case these rocks, all the ones that turn color, Photoshop has identified those as an object. Now it may or may not get everything in the image, but as you can see it's turning color when it's highlighted an object. So now all you need to do is click on an object that is highlighted. So if I click on this, you see that it is selected now. And if I want to select more, all I need to do is hover over an object, hold down my shift key, and that is selected also. So I picked a pretty hard one here, but it does pretty good here. It's getting these objects that are close together, and I'm just highlighting, and I'm holding down the shift key and clicking. And like this one right here, it's not selected at all. If I need to select it, hold down the shift key and use the object selection the way I used to. And this icon up here, if you click on that, it says show all objects. So it shows you everything in the image that Photoshop has identified as an object. And of course you can click on these arrows up here to refresh object finder. And that's what will happen. It did a pretty good job. It found objects that were close to each other. Once you hover over your object and click on it, come down here and create your layer mask. And of course, if you need to refine your layer mask, you can use other Photoshop tools to do that. So after I created my layer mask and I hover over the object again, this is not really the layer mask. You can see your layer mask. If you hit Alt or Option, and there's your real layer mask. So you get your final selection when you hit your layer mask. And this gear up here is all your options for your object finder tool. And most of these you'll probably leave as they are. I'd always have my auto refresh on. Of course, if you have it on manual refresh, you have to hit the arrows up here. You can change your overlay color. I'm going to leave it to blue. And you can put an outline around your object. I would leave it at zero pixels because the outline doesn't look good. So I'll just leave that at zero pixels. Opacity at 65%, that's fine. And you can change whether you want the overlay to show always, never, or auto. If you're getting value out of this so far, hit that like button and consider subscribing. And here's another example. So when I open up this example, here I am hovering over all the objects that Photoshop has found. There's one that it didn't find. And to see all the objects that Photoshop has found, remember I can come up here to this icon and click on that. And of course you can add this piece of paper down here, but it's not going to show up in color after you select it. It's only going to show up in color for the objects that Photoshop found. And another great feature here that kind of goes along with the, this image especially, I have all these objects in here, but if you come over to your layer and right click on that and come to mask all objects. And so here I have a message saying generating mask layer groups automatically from objects. So each of the parts of this image that Photoshop has determined that it's an image, it's going to make a layer group for that particular object. And to use that feature, I didn't need to make any selections out of any of the objects here on that image. So now you have a layer group for each of the objects in the image. And now you can add adjustment layers to each of the layer groups, change color, add a curves adjustment. So that's another new feature. If you want to know more about Photoshop, click or tap on one of the videos on the screen now. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, and share this video. And remember, it's never too late to learn. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.